This is a Tire Cat 855E uh, track cutter, fellow buncher. Um, it is equipped with a 5702 26 saw head. It's a cut a 26 inch tree. Um, this is the Cadillac of cutters. Um, cutter does a re really well job, strong, uh, very productive. Has 20 saw teeth on it. Uh, your normal 5702 um, has 18. Um, they made the throat wider, so they had to make the blade wider, uh, bigger. Um, this is your uh, big grab arms. Um, this grabs the tree first, and then your accumulator arms comes on top of your grab arm, or your your big arms. It comes on top of your big arms. Grab the tree if you're cutting. If you can cut, grab two trees at a time. Um, when you grab the tree again with the big arms, um, these will spring back out of the first, the second tree that come on top of it, and come back on top of the the second tree. And it's what they call accumulating. So you can keep accumulating trees. This machine here is uh, equipped with a D7, a UD7 undercarriage. Um, so it has bigger tracks than a regular 855, which it was ordered like that, with bigger tracks, um, bigger rails, um, bigger rollers. Everything's bigger down to, um, down to, uh, all the rollers some of these models have slides on them this machine here has uh rollers on them so you can replace the rollers instead of the tracks or the slides uh back here we got your uh final drives uh tiger cats making their own final drives now this is not the tiger cat final drives this is before them um these are german made Back here you have, I have extra hoses. You always blow hoses. Um, get your air filter, your pre-cleaner. Um, little reservoir right there has uh, swing drive oil. We change our swing drive oil every 800 hours, seven or 800 hours. Um, your fire suppression system, in case the machine uh, starts to catch on fire, you can hit a button in the cab and it will um, displace uh, your extinguisher sulfur everywhere to distinguish the fire. Um, in here you have a fire extinguisher. Uh, it's a water system that with a water hose that you can use. It's pressurized. You can also um, use that as well to put it out if you if it didn't do the job. Uh, in this black box up here. You have a uh, um, the the motor, the pump for the lift, the clam, the hood up. Um, and you also have a gauge, your pressure gauge for your hydraulics. You can release the pressure off your hydraulics. Um, this machine was uh, equipped with uh, a vacuum system that I hit a button in the cab. If you blow a hose and it'll pull a vacuum on the hydraulic system and it can uh, keep you from losing your hydraulic oil out of the rest of your lines or the rest of your system if it's lower than the um, tank. This machine has uh, six big hydraulic filters. We replace them every 500 hours. Um, and we have one high pressure filter. Um, so it takes seven hydraulic filters all together. Um, this here is a, a tube that you can pump your hydraulic oil, you can put your five gallon bucket and it's automatic. You hit that switch right here and it'll uh, pump all your hydraulic oil out of your bucket. Back here you have your uh, 
your screens um, your screens for your radiator um, you can clean you can pull them screens up from the top clean the screens and the radiator behind it so it just keeps it from um, keeps too much debris from going in the radiator without having to blow it out um, you try to blow it out about uh, depends if the trees is losing their leaves or whatever how much debris you get you can um, about once a week most of the time you can blow it out back here you have uh, your engine it's a FPT 6.7 Fiat um, so very well well engine well built engine we've had no trouble out of these engines um, your two fuel filters, your engine oil filters on the other side. Um, these engines are um, very well put together. We've had, we got a tractor that's got right at 10,000 hours and we've not done nothing to it. We replaced one turbo, I think. So. Right here you have your uh, main pump, your saw pump. Um, this is your whole line of hydraulic pumps. Um, just goes over to in the middle is your hydraulic valves that controls your pressures and everything in the middle of the machine. Thing to use Rexroth pumps. Um, very, very good pumps too. Uh, the valves are Lindy. Lindy, they've been using Lindy valves for a long time. Very well, well built valves. The operator's cab is uh, very comfortable. It's two joysticks. Uh, this is your main boom down, your main boom up. <laughs> this is your stick out. This is just uh, joy uh, your main your ER stick in. Um, this swings to the left, swings to the right. Um, this this folds the saw head back, and this dumps the trees. The saw head. Your two buttons you gotta um, grab. Um, you grab your big arms. That's uh, closed, that's open. This side here is the same way. This is your accumulating arms. That's um, closed, that's open. Your triggers, um, your bottom triggers on your joysticks, they make your, uh, your saw head, your wrist um, go 340 degrees. Um, this is your saw, turns your saw on. This is your pilot system. This starts your um, hydraulics from, if the cab's closed, your door has to be closed. You have to hit this for any hydraulics to work. This stops it automatically, all your hydraulics. Um, ignition. Uh, this is your master switch. This cuts off every day. When um, we go home or if we leave the machine, this cuts off. Um, so no power is being used. AC heat controls, lights. Um, this is your vacuum pump I was describing earlier. Um, you can actually hear it sucking the um, vacuum on the hydraulic system. That's off. Um, this reverses your fan if you've, uh, you need to reverse it. Um, this is our CB radios, our private radios. This is your fire system. Um, if in case you got a fire, it says system okay. Um, you pull this pin, you hit that. You also have a second one here. Um, it's the same thing. Hit that if you know fires back in the back. Oh, and this is your uh, your throttle. Make sure your engine throttle go up. And this is your um, track speeds of forward rabbits real fast. That's slow, like for getting on a low boy. And your horn. This is your screen here. Um, shows your fuel, uh, water, water coolant temperature, hydraulic temperature, RPMs, 
all your functions you can come to the next screen see your engine hours um, your RPMs oil pressure uh, the screen in front is a camera you can see the tops of the trees or I can hit a button and see the back of the machine so just by a button on my joystick I can do that So this is the loader I run. Uh, this machine here is a 865 track loader, manufactured by Tiger Cat out of Canada. A well-built machine. Uh, this machine has uh, just less than 2,000 hours on it. Uh, it's just not quite a year old, I believe. The machine over there is uh, three years old. Um, it's got almost 6,000 hours. And uh, these machines basically they'll run, uh, they'll run a long time. Uh, just, you know, it, uh, um, a loader doesn't require a lot of maintenance like a chipper. A chipper is, is much like a woman; it's all the time needing something. But uh, a loader ain't quite that bad. Uh, a loader takes less beating probably than anything out here. But uh, a loader, this particular loader here, uh, has got around 300 horsepower. Like I said, it's a track machine. We set up oftentimes, as you can see, in wet conditions. And uh, it's so much easier to have a track machine that you don't have a uh, mat underneath of you when you're on a trailer mount loader. Just a lot less time consuming, a lot quicker to set up and get going. Uh, this loader has a 34 foot boom in it, I believe, uh, with a live heel, meaning you can move your heel up and down. Uh, depending on what you're cutting or if you're healing trees, but it uh, works well for what we do. Uh, you can even take this loader in the swamp and uh, work on the road or whatever you need to do. They don't, we don't usually use these loaders in the swamp because they're, they're so high up you can't see your tracks well. And when you're working in the swamp, you certainly need to be able to see your tracks all the time to see if you uh, make sure you're, you're all right, you're okay. But, uh, this particular machine here is uh, it's uh, got the engine in the back. It just we'll walk up on it in a minute. The back folds over. You can see the engine uh, accessibility is real good. You can get to your uh, your pumps. You can get to your engine uh, batteries. Anything you need to get to is right there. Where you really really easy to get to. But uh, this particular machine here as well, it has uh, two swing motors in it. That means it's got uh, good swing torque. Uh, if you were pulling trees through a delimmer, uh, that will work real good. Uh, it needs a lot of torque when you're pulling big trees through a delimmer, pine or softwood of any kind. It's got a, a pretty large fuel tank in it, 230 gallons maybe. Uh, it'll run, I don't know, I think we think it'll run about three and a half days, 12 hour days, you know, so it does, does pretty good on the fuel. Uh, We'll get up in the cabin, you can see how it functions. To make the uh, machine work for safety reasons, so if kids had to jump up here, they wouldn't be able to take off and go with it and hurt themselves or somebody else. Uh, it's got a, a safety lever on it. Uh, when this lever's all the way down, of course it engages the, uh, the hydraulics and everything will work. This particular machine, uh, it works off of joysticks um, to uh, make the machine walk. Of course you got foot pedals for walking or you can use your hands on a shovel machine or cutter, uh, you walk with your feet. They're the same pedals that you walk with your feet on a cutter or uh, I mean a cutter or shovel. This machine here actually swings with your feet by moving the left joystick 
to your right, the bucket closes, to the left, the bucket opens. To make the bucket rotate, of course, you turn it to the right and it rotates left, turn it to your left and it rotates right. Uh, that's probably back backwards from what a lot of people do, but that's what I've been used to. I've been running a loader for myself for 25 years here, and um, I mean, I can run anything, I guess. Uh, but when you're old, you can't get up and dine as good, quite as good as you used to. So I, I stick to the, I stick to the loader. In fact, when we come up here, I don't know, you might have noticed my little handicap ramp there. But anyway, there's a lot of tricks you learn when you run a loader that makes it simple for yourself. So, um, when you pull back on this, of course, that's the jib boom. The short, what they call the jib boom, is the, the boom on the end, uh, up and down. You pull it up, and it goes up. Push it down, of course, it goes down. Uh, the main boom right here, the big boom on the side, uh, the joystick on the left is what opens or what raises that and lower it, same thing. Push down, it goes down, pull up, and it goes up on your left joystick. Uh, the heel boom, the heel cylinder there, it's got little triggers under the joystick and you push this one, it'll bring it in, you push this one here and it goes out. Uh, you, it, it, any of this can be changed. Uh, personal preference, you know, you might want to, to work the buttons um, to to open the but bucket or to close the bucket. It can be set up to any different number of configurations you want. Um, it's just what you're used to and what you uh, what you like for the, the, the controls to work. You know, of course, the way you run them all your life, that's the way you want to work. You get ready to swing. Like I said, you just push on the left joystick. I mean, left pedal, you swing to the left. Push on the right pedal and you'll swing to the right. You know, you can go about fast as you want to or you can go slow as you want to, you know. Um, to make the boat saw work, it all operates in here. I cut grade, I mean, I cut the wood to length, um, the logs, then the, um, the chipping wood, of course, it's piled to the side, but the logs, to make the boat saw work right, you, of course, you hit the button, the boat saw goes down, you hit the button on the left and it goes up button on the right goes down one on the left here brings it back up but uh, it's all high everything here is hydraulic this is what they call a hydraulic loader of course and everything is run by hydraulic everything on this machine is um, there's pumps on the front of the machine and different pumps run different things of course and um, even the hydraulics run the track system where you can make you move back and forth it's uh it's simple but yet it's pretty uh, sophisticated the way it's plumbed, the way the, the valve body is, uh, the pressures that's in it. Of course, pressures makes a difference in power sometime, and uh, pressures had to be adjusted, especially when a machine gets older. Um, but other than that, it's it's very simple. Um, we can we weigh trucks here on our scales. We weigh the drive axle. We weigh the trailer. Uh, well, most time we can get within 500 to a thousand pounds of the actual weight on the truck. Uh, depending, you know, uh, when the back's weighed, sometimes it throws the front off and if you compensate for it most of the time, uh, it'll work. Tree link wood's very easy to weigh, of course, uh, much easier than to, to cut up wood. The way you weigh each the trailer separate from the truck, of course, and uh, it's not hard to get within a thousand pine of the actual weight on your scale ticket. So you see it all works. Um, um, the scales are, of course, they are electric. Uh, they're maxi load, uh, pretty accurate. These scales, I've had these these scales here uh, uh, 23 years, I believe. I bought these scales in 2000 and 2001, and you know they're 22, 23 years old, and still working good today. Um, it's just uh, we we move the monitors from loader to loader when we. When we trade loaders or when we get new loaders, we just move our electronics from one to the other and, you know, everything stays the same. You know, the, the controls are set the same, so, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what's going on or how something works. This is a 953M John Deere track cutter. James River equipment, 
brought this to us and let us try it. Um, this is, uh, I think, the biggest cutter that uh, John Deere track cutter John Deere makes. Um, Dwayne Jones uh, let us use it. Dwayne Jones is our salesman, uh, good guy. Always does what he says he's gonna do. Um, good salesman. Um, good people. All the James River equipment is good people. They they stand behind their stuff. They service it. Um, do a very good job. Uh, this is probably one of the strongest machines I've ever been on. Um, I haven't run it today. I ran it last week. Uh, this has a 50. Uh, this has a FR 27. So this is a 27 inch head. Um, Tiger Cat. Biggest Tiger Cat has a 26. Um, they redesigned this head, and I really like it. It's uh, it was it's well, well built. Um, does a good job. Um, accumulating trees, cutting. Uh, this blade actually has 18 teeth on it instead of 20. Um, I think they spaced them, they spaced them apart a little bit further um, than what Tiger Cat did. This machine has uh, LED package on the lights. This also has the D7 um, D7 undercarriage, bigger frame, bigger rollers, the whole nine yards. Here's the power switch, turns the power on. So John Deere is a little bit different cab. Um, it's a little side entry instead of coming through the front door like a Tiger Cat. Um, like I said, this machine has 59 hours on it. Um, that's your fuel, your def, um, your water temperature, hydraulic temperature. Um, it has a keypad, so this John Deere is pushed to start. You have a password that you put in, and you hold that button and it starts it. Um, you saw, you have to en enable your hydraulics. It's like a pilot system like Tiger Cat. So you have to hit that, and then you have to hit your uh, saw to get the saw. Your AC and heat controls are right here. Radio, AM, FM radio, CB. Um, very spacious ca cab. This has your skylight exit where if the machine was to get stuck and you couldn't get out, you fold these back, you can crawl out the window. And we'll lift the hood so you can see under the hood. Uh, this is your air filter, pre-cleaner. Um, this has got the big engine in it. Um, the nine liter, I think it's 330 horsepower. Um, I think John Deere they've done very well um, putting this in there where you can work on everything. Um, you can get around the whole machine. Uh, it's your main hydraulic pumps, um, saw, uh, mains. Um, there's your valves for all your your functions, your stick boom in and out, uh, arms, uh, all your functions. That's your coolant tank. Here's your fuel tank right here. This is your def. Um, hydraulic tank. Um, all these, these two big filters here, emission filters. It's well put together.